Hey traders, welcome back. It's Kenya with BK Trading Academy. In this training video, I'm going to go through how to set up your KISS indicators and how to trade this strategy on TradingView. So I am on a naked chart of USDJPY. You'll notice that I have a clean chart. I like to have no indicators and I like to have a very clean chart. And when I do get a KISS confirmation, I pull up a KISS chart next to it. So you always want to have a clean chart with no indicators and you can save this as a template so that when you need to reference it quickly and you want to go between an indicator chart or a clean chart, you can do that. So in order to do that, you want to make sure that you simply pull up a clean chart. And what you can do is just click on the candles. So if you just double click on the candles, you'll have your chart settings come up. And this is how I change the color of my candles. So you can copy my settings or choose the colors that you want. And you can just kind of play around in here and really make your screen look how you want it to. I like to keep the background dark black. And so you can notice an appearance. This is where I change all of that. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you want and yeah make your your chart how you want it okay so that's how you would do a clean chart and then what you want to do is just click on this little area here with these four squares and click save indicator template and you just name it naked chart or whatever you want to call it and then it will save okay and this will be your list of templates here that you will reference these default templates are ones that are already created inside of trading view so you can just ignore those but these at the top, it'll say my templates. They will, these will be your templates that you reference. So now let's say, for example, if I want to pull up my clean chart next to a indicator chart, how I do that is you'll notice that I already have a KISS chart created and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm going to click on KISS 2.0 because I already have this saved. And what you're going to notice is that in order to set this up, there's a few steps you're going to have to take. So I already have this set up and I'm just going to walk you through how to do the same thing. So you will start on a clean chart just like I just showed you and you would go to this area that says indicators. And when you click on that, you're going to type in the indicator you're looking for. So the first one that you need is Bollinger Band, and you're just going to type that and you'll notice that it gives you a lot of different options. You want to check Bollinger Bands, just the simple one. Once you select it, it's going to come on your chart just like this. Now, in order to change the settings for any of your indicators, you have to click hover over the actual indicator to the left, hover over this little second area here and it says settings. OK, you want to click that and then your settings will come up. So on the Bollinger Band, you don't need to change anything because we use the default settings 20 close and 2 so you don't need to change anything there if you want to change the look of it this is the style so you can see mine and you can change it there you really don't need a, a, a basis line so that's just that middle moving average there you can take that out if you want mine's just kind of stays so I just left it but your upper band you can change how thick or wide it is just click on it you can change the color down below you can change the opacity I just keep it on 100 because I like it nice and clear and showing through and then you can put the thickness if you want so you can change the thickness of the band if you want once you have that you're good to go then you want to add your next indicator so the next one is RSI you simply go to indicators you type in RSI and it will show relative strength index notice there's a lot of them you want to click just the regular one once you click it it will show up just like this on your chart what you're going to do is hover over the settings and I'm going to click on settings and now you can see my settings so these are my settings for the RSI and your settings are seven and close so so when you go to inputs, you're just going to use the standard or the default settings, which is seven and close. You're going to go to style and you're going to change the style. So there's a few things that I like to remove on the RSI. Yours might look a little bit different because TradingView is always making updates and changing the settings. But I like just a simple RSI line. If you have any other lines, I would just uncheck it and get rid of it. For my upper band, I like to keep an upper band. You'll notice that there's an upper band right here and there's a lower band. I like my upper band to be at 80 and the lower band band to be at 20 okay you really don't need a middle band so you can even uncheck that mine's is showing as black so it's not showing but you can uncheck that middle band because you even though this is an indicator chart you want to keep it as clean as possible so notice how mine's doesn't look all crazy and have like you know 15 different colors you don't want all of that you don't want this to be distracting to the eye you want a nice clean indicator chart and just keep everything really nice so it's not too much on your eyes okay and so 
once you get your settings in there you just click ok now you have that and then the next one you want to add is your stochastic so you're going to go to indicators again you're going to type in stochastic and you'll notice that these are already saved to my favorite so you can just click on favorite and it'll favorite it for you you click on that it'll add it to your chart and then here are the settings so you hover over stochastic click on the settings and these are my settings for stochastic so you want to go to inputs and your input is five three and three okay that's what you want there and then for the style same thing so you'll notice that my K percentage line is red my D percentage is white so everything is really consistent notice that my red band or like my RSI line is red when it's at the top of 80 that's where I'm looking for sell opportunities if it's at the bottom of the 20 level I'm looking for buys sort of like what happened right here even though I'm on the daily time frame but this will be an example of what you're looking for okay that right there notice even a buy opportunity right here it was right outside of the Bollinger Band right at the 20 line and look how much the price went up so we're gonna be using this on the lower time frame but you'll see that there are pretty much the same consistent setups on the higher time frame okay so that is your stochastic make sure you get those settings there and you'll see that my pretty much my K percentage line is along with the sale conditions and then my D percentage line goes along with the buy conditions okay um, so that is pretty much that on the stochastic you don't need to change anything on visibility so you're good there click OK okay and the last one you need to add now here's a tricky thing trading view I believe comes with three indicators if you have a free account I use the highest level account with trading view but that's because we use a lot of their features for our Academy so you can do the free trial you don't have to have all of the indicators but I do recommend it because this is just how the strategy works and when you're using tried and tested rules you want to make sure you're using the system correctly so it's totally up to you you can do a free trial for I believe 30 days or so and then you can decide if you want to keep it or not and then um, yeah it's just up to you so you can even try it without it and see how you like it but this next indicator that you'll need is the MACD and simply what you're going to do is go to indicators you're going to type MACD and you will notice that there are several options you want to click on moving average convergence divergence and this is what will come up on your chart now when it first comes up it might look a lot different than what I have here you will have the histogram which is right here this little middle area here but you'll need to go in and make some changes so go to the settings you're gonna hover over it go to the settings you don't need to change anything with visibility for your inputs you're gonna have 3 10 and 9 okay and you're gonna pretty much keep everything like I have it here on my chart and then you're gonna click on style and then you're going to have some similar settings so notice that again my MACD line coincides with sales in the market and my signal line coincides with buys in the market so you can change these according to how you want it you can have your MACD line red you can have your signal line blue for buys if you want no those are colors that's you know a lot of traders use so it's just totally up to you and then that's all you need to do once you have that all together you're gonna click OK and the most important thing you need to do so that you're not having to create this every single time is you want to click on these little four squares again and click on save indicator template so when you click on that you're gonna name the template so I would call it kiss 2.0 okay so you're gonna just name it kiss 2.0 or kiss strategy and then or kiss indicators you can call it whatever you want once you have that you're gonna click save once you save it you now can go to this area and you can pull up this template anytime so if I click on naked chart I can go to a nice naked chart with no indicators if I wanted to go back to my kiss indicator chart I could simply go there okay and then sometimes you're gonna have to just kind of stretch it out so you would do this with your mouse this is where you can move it up and down just take your mouse and toggle between the price line here you see how it's moving up and down so you want to do that notice my MACD kind of is all over the place so you want to just bring it close together just toggle between that and it'll do that but again you'll be using this on the lower time frame so when I do use this template I also like to save it on the appropriate time frame so I what I recommend is when you create it make sure that you're creating it on the 15 minute time frame because this is the the time frame we normally use the 5 and the 15 minute okay so now let's go through how do I look at this when I'm on trading view so I'm gonna pull up a naked chart and let's say for example I am on the daily time frame and I am going to quickly look at a potential opportunity I might want to take so since we have an uptrend on the daily 
I would possibly look at a buy if price were to retest this area we stay in an uptrend okay and what I do is set an alert right here and I would make a note that this is the support zone that I'm interested in buying once I get the alert at this area what I'm gonna do is click on this little square right here so it says select layout I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click number two where it has a side-by-side -side panel this is how I pull up two charts at one time so notice on the left I have my daily chart okay so I can look at that and on the right notice that I have my indicator chart here now if your indicator chart is not showing simply click here on the little four squares and you're gonna select your indicator template so just select kiss and then kiss just show up right here to the right okay you always want to make sure you have the appropriate time frame so notice here I'm on the 15 minute and I can quickly just go between time frames right here at the top so if I want to go to the five minute I simply go to the five minute and I find my opportunity okay and this is pretty much what you're looking for when price is at a major structure level a major turning point in the market a major reversal zone you want to look for opportunities on your kiss indicator template so you should know the strategy by now if, you, if not you want to go through this playlist or go through the training manual which I've covered for you in detail. Every question you have about this strategy is in the training manual. So I really encourage you to buy that and you can find information on that in this playlist. Now here is, for example, a selling opportunity. You have price outside of the Bollinger Band. It's at the 80 level and starting to turn and point down. Your stochastic should be a little bit more like this. That's usually what you want to see. So I like to see it above the 80 level and starting to cross over. And then your MACD is the last one to come together. So it's going to take you journaling this strategy quite a bit to understand the conditions and what you're looking for. But simply all I wanted to show you in this video was how to pull up a clean chart and also how to save your chart as a template and how to add the indicator chart so that when you get a kiss opportunity this is what your screen will look like now in trading view i can make this a little bit bigger by hiding this right panel so this is my watch list over here you'll notice i can just click on this and i can now just have these two areas up okay so i have my tools here so this is my tool you'll see me moving it around you'll just have to play around in trading view to get used to it in the academy we have a tutorial on trading view and everything you need to get familiar with all this stuff so this is more of just help for everyone there's a lot of people who have gone through our academy they're now successful on their own they still trade some of the strategies so if you've bought the kiss training manual i try to do these little short videos to keep you updated um, especially if you bought the training manual but know that things are going to change over the years especially as i continue to grow and become even more profitable with this strategy but it has been just amazing for me and consistent over the years and i'm doing this to update you guys and also every time i get a question it helps free up my time to be able to send you a video showing you how to do this um, all the details in terms of like signals and all of that we only drop that inside of our academy i don't provide much of that in telegram anymore because i feel that that is more of a benefit for our paid members however we will continue to publish free content to help you guys so i hope that you find this helpful comment below if you have any questions on the indicator setup or naked chart setup um, i hope that this helps you and as always make sure that you like subscribe if you haven't already so you get the next update turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates and also follow the kiss playlist for any updates at any time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next training video